An umbrella is an is a business that um, is an employer. Um, and they employ temps um, and so people like you um, and you have that continuity of employment even when you're working on lots of different short-term um, uh, pieces of work um, maybe for even different agencies maybe for different hospitals and different clients so you still have that umbrella if you like of um, employment that you take with you and so that that is the concept of umbrella now, because clients are now needing to determine IR35 status for their limited company um, contractors, um, that is why some of you may now be experiencing the world of umbrella for the first time. Because if uh, your client has said, so if the hospital that you're working for or, or whatever has said that you are inside IR35, then your agency may very well suggest that you uh, choose an umbrella to work through because you'll have that continuity of employment. Um, some agencies will payroll you in-house. Um, that's That could be another option for you, but I'm here to talk to you about umbrella. So, as I say, umbrella employs temporary workers like, like you, um, and you have that continuity of employment. Now, a major issue that has um, arisen as a result of this year's off payroll changes and that IR35 um, uh, change that I mentioned is being clear about your pay rate. So you might have previously been earning, oh, I don't know, £300 a day that you receive the whole amount of into your limited company and you then do your tax return at the end of the year. Now, with an umbrella company, um, that... It, that rate that is paid to the umbrella company is not your income. The rate that is paid to the umbrella company, even if it's still that £300 a day or whatever your rate was previously, that contractually belongs to the umbrella company, not to you. And from that, they have to pay all costs of employment. So that includes employers, national insurance, um, they need to uh, account for holiday pay, they need to um, retain a margin for, for, their, um, for, for their costs as well. So that is probably the most important point I can make to you on, on this short video. And it is massively confusing because people like you are seeing their 300 pound a day rate or whatever it was, uh, that you were receiving before the changes in April and they're seeing that go to the umbrella and then they're seeing those deductions come from that rate. Now, as I say, the money paid to the umbrella is the umbrella's money. It's not yours. It's your money plus those costs. So the umbrella has no extra money to, to fund the costs of employing you. So they, they have to, by law, pay employers national insurance. Now, for you, the worker, that feels like you're paying it. But actually, if you look at the contractual detail, you're not paying it because, as I say, the money paid to the umbrella is not your money. It's your money plus those costs. So um, in some instances, we have seen the rates increased, by the way, to take account of those overheads. Um, so the employees, national insurance and other employment costs. Um, we have we have seen that. So if, if that's you, you're in a fantastic position and that's brilliant. Um, but I know it's not happening across the board. And what is happening instead is that they are renegotiating your pay rate and essentially uh, people are receiving less income as, as a result. Now, the other really important part to explain is that you should be getting a key information document. Now, recruitment agencies have been legally required to give key information documents to their workers, um, to their agency workers since um, last year. So it's a legal requirement, you should be getting one. A key information document will outline this sort of thing. It should cover your pay rates um, and any kind of uh, costs related to that, um, your employment status and all sorts of things. So you should be getting a key information document. So if you are uh, signing up to an umbrella, the umbrella will also run through this with you when you join the umbrella, but the umbrella has to, um, well, sorry, the agency has to provide you with that key information document that outlines how your pay will be calculated. And usually the agency will get that key information document from the umbrella. So to all intents and purposes, you should have 
some information before you're starting work. So make sure you get that key information document because it's really important and it's really useful. Now, the other thing to mention about umbrellas is because it's a contract of employment, um, you are entitled to holiday and all um, UK employees are entitled to 5.6 weeks holiday a year as a statutory requirement. So that means it's a legal requirement. Um, and that is often prorated, um, particularly for people who work on variable hours, um, like yourselves, I guess, as, um, as agency workers. So, the, the umbrella will, um, will be making an allowance for holiday for you. You can either receive it, they can either put that into a separate um, accrued pot, if you like, of money for you that you then draw down when you take time off. And so that is one way of doing it. Or they might give you the option of having it rolled up, which means that you receive your holiday pay at the same time as your normal pay. So you are actually taking home more money, but there is no pot of money for you to draw on when you do take holidays. So those are the two base, two um, general ways that holiday is paid in this sector. And it's worth noting that if you are on agency payroll and you're not with an umbrella, the agencies are still required to give you that same statutory holiday so basically make sure you are getting your holiday because it's your it's your legal requirement and make sure you know how how you're getting that and so that should also be outlined in your key information document now Within the, as I've outlined, because um, the off payroll changes that came in this year have um, been quite uh, broad, um, had, had a very broad impact, there are some uh, schemes, unfortunately, that have set up that are, are basically pretending to be umbrellas, but they may actually be tax avoidance schemes. So be very wary of those. Um, and what you can do is once you are paid through your umbrella, is you can check your um, tax record with HMRC to make sure that they are receiving the tax and the national insurance that the umbrella has said that they're paying across. So that is a really easy thing that you can do. Um, I'm not going to go into how these schemes suggest that they work. We haven't really got time, but basically make sure you choose a reputable umbrella um, and make sure that you check your pay, PAYE records with HMRC. So PAYE is just pay as you earn, it's your tax record. So make sure that they are genuinely putting your income through, um, through payroll. Now, because there are some um, dubious providers out there, unfortunately, um, some recruitment agencies operate a preferred supplier list. And I would expect a recruitment agency operating a preferred supplier list to be doing due diligence around the suppliers that they are suggesting that, that their workers can choose from. And, but, and so the, amongst those due diligence checks, I would be expecting the agency to, to kind of do, do some work to ensure that they are comfortable that, that the umbrellas that they are recommending are not these schemes. So if you find that your agency is giving you a preferred supplier list of say five umbrellas to choose from, that is quite normal. Um, and again, just do some research. And if you are not sure, um, then have a conversation with your, with your agency because the agency should be able to kind of run through this sort of thing with you. So that in a nutshell is umbrella. Um, so I think um, the umbrella sector is often misunderstood, I think because of that pay rate issue. Um, and so once that is clear, then, then it's plain sailing and you can um, hopefully keep that same umbrella for a period for as long as you want. So you've got that continuity of employment for whenever you're working on short term assignments.